Hello everyone and welcome to my video. Today I'm heading out to Munich Airport to take the first flight after travel ban due to COVID-19. After the travel ban I'm pretty excited to hop on this flight. Today I'm going down to Palma di Mallorca to spend the weekend there. But let's get to the airport first. I'll be taking the subway to Munich East Station where I'm going to change onto the suburb train number 8 which will bring me right up to Munich Airport Terminal. There is one major plus for getting up that early in the morning. The Munich East station is almost deserted. There's pretty much nobody here. So right now I'm just walking up to the platform array to catch my train to the airport. Today it's really a beautiful morning in Munich. As you can see here while you're watching our big wheel, which is installed a couple years ago as a new tourist attraction and right now I'm just waiting for my train. So there is my train coming, the suburban train number 8 which goes directly to Munich Air Terminal. I was figuring out that I was pretty way back on the platform, so I had to catch up to get my ride. Today we took a quite unusual route out of Munich East Station as there was maintenance work done on the main line so we were diverted over to the cargo terminal where all the cargo trains going to Italy or Norway has been stored. Right now we are entering the Munich airport area. The first stop of the train will be the visitor center and as well the exit for the cargo areas. As you can see the big building on the right was just built for the A380 Airbus that it can be maintenanced in Munich as well. Next halt Flughafen. Informationen zu ihrem Terminal und ihren Flugverbindungen finden Sie an den Anzeigeöffnungen und erhalten Sie an jedem Informationsschalter. Bitte denken Sie an Ihre Gepäckstücke und persönlichen Gegenstände. Verehrte Fahrgäste, unsere S-Bahn endet dort. Bitte alle aussteigen. Wir bedanken uns für Ihre Fahrt mit der S-Bahn München. Auf Wiedersehen.
Well, to be honest, Munich Airport was not that busy this morning. Although I was lucky enough to be able to start from Terminal 2, which is the Lufthansa terminal and it's only used by Lufthansa and all the partner airlines. The queue at the security checkpoint was not long at all, so I was in no time. Literally, I was at the airport 15 minutes before being able to go to my gate. Due to the COVID-19 restrictions, there was no airport lounge open at Munich at all, which was a bit disappointing, but understandable. And if you look around the terminal, there is not much going on at all. All the food courts are closed, there is no free coffee, no magazines, nothing really. There's just like one shop open that sells some food and water. My ride today was this Airbus A319, which was a bit dated to be honest, but it was comfy enough. It is offered by Eurowings, which in my opinion is just like a low-cost airline from Lufthansa, as it stops as well and only on the Lufthansa terminal in Munich. As the flight was not nearly booked, I was lucky enough to have a whole row to myself. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Your captain speaking. My name is Thomas Neugebauer. I would like to welcome you all tonight to Palma de Mallorca. The preparations are finished in a few minutes. We are ready to go. For the time, make yourself comfortable and enjoy the flight with us. And soon it was time to push back and relax and start our flight from Munich to Palma de Mallorca. The will be one hour and 15 minutes your smartphones and tablets can be used for flight mode if you recognize one of your electronic devices damage catching up or starting to smoke. Please inform the current crew in the US. As we demonstrate safety features on our hours in 2019. Your seatbelt is fastened and unfastened like this.
after the takeoff from Munich runway 1, we just made a slight southwestern turn towards the Alps that we will cross in a couple of minutes. Then we will fly over Austria, Switzerland, north of Italy, some parts of France. We will see the coast of Spain before we descend onto the island of Mallorca. After a really nice and uneventful flight, we are right now passing over the island of Menorca and we are starting our descent onto the airport of Palma de Mallorca. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mallorca. Please remain seated with your seatbelts fast until we have informed you about leaving the aircraft. Please take care when opening the overhead fit and items that are out. Your Eurowings crew says goodbye to you and thank you for choosing Eurowings today. We are looking forward to the next flight with you and wish you a pleasant day. would like to remind you that it is necessary to cover your mouth and nose during this embarkation. Please observe to keep your safe and reasonable distance to other passengers and be reminded that you have to leave your seats row by row. After landing in Palma, I just went through the immigration and the COVID test station where you have to show your barcode which you will get when you register online before your flight. Then I just quickly grabbed a taxi to the hotel which was located in Palma. The next one and a half days is just for relaxing, some sightseeing and tasting some Spanish food. We find a pretty cool little tapa place in the heart of Palma, which was way off the main streets and it was delicious, it was a really small bar and it offered a really high quality food. Right now I'm back at the airport in Palma de Mallorca and I'm now looking for the sea gates where my flight was scheduled to depart. again there was no lineup at all at the security checkpoints so I was literally in in another couple of minutes then we had to go through all the duty-free stores that they have installed there but as I'm traveling inside of Europe there is no duty-free for me Thank you. 
And coming up to the Seagates, I was pretty, pretty surprised that they have the lounges open. So, of course, I opted to go to a lounge to relax, have a drink, have a snack, and wait for my departure. They're really doing a good job here in the lounge. Um, all the food and drinks are behind glass or plastic walls. And you're just like telling them what you want to have and they put it for you on a tray and bring it right up to your table so you don't have to touch nothing. And after every guest, all the area that this person may have touched was disinfected by the staff. So thumbs up for this. And now as Dennis Bunik would call it, cheers to a good flight. And at this point I was not quite aware of what kind of flight I would be having tonight, but if I would have known that, I think I would have chosen some more drinks there, because it was one of the most hor horrible flights I have ever had, um, but I will tell you later what was the problem there. So, after arriving at the Seagate number 44, where my flight was planned to depart, there were literally nobody there and I just like uh, saw the sign which says Munich and I asked one of the stewards and he told me, no, no, it's not here, it's just like on gate 64 and um, yeah, it was quite a hike to get there. Well, the takeoff from Palma was quite normal, and as we are going over the sea and over France, nothing has happened. But then we were hitting Italy. Well, when you look out the window of a plane where you are near 32,000 feet and you see lightning and uh, they are really close by, there is a strange feeling that you get, right? Um, so it was here and our pilots have done everything they can just to avoid more turbulences than we had But to be honest, it was a really uncomfortable 45 minutes in this plane Well, they also told us that we had to divert over 150 kilometers from our planned route just to go around all these thunderstorms to be able to go safe to Munich um, well, I appreciate what they told us, just to yeah, keep everybody updated and maybe some of the people were felt more safer than without any announcements. But to sum it up, it's not complaining, uh, it was just like a really uncomfortable flight and I was really happy that it was over and we landed safe in Munich after the half of the flight with heavy turbulences. So, Thank you, pilots, for bringing us home safe. Hello, guys, and welcome back to Munich Airport after a really rough flight from Palma de Mallorca. As you can see right here, the airport is pretty empty right now and it's really late at night. We have right now a half past 11 at night. Um, so I'm right now just heading out to the suburban station to catch my train back to Munich, which will take about another 45 minutes and then I'm really happy to be home. And if you have liked this video guys, um, I really would be thankful for a thumbs up and hitting the subscribe button, it helps out a lot more than you think it does. And if you want to leave a comment down below, just let me know what I can improve or if you like this video. So thank you right now for watching this video, um, take care guys and cheers. <laughs>